My Fitness Fit family, it is fucking Friday, guys, and we are at you with your AMRAP here. It's gonna be a 25 minute AMRAP with a five minute, or I'm sorry, four minute uh, AMRAP finisher. And what we're gonna do here is walk through the warm up like we always do, take you through, through the workout, and this is what we're gonna do for four weeks at a time. As we do with AMRAPs, you're trying to improve as you go through. Also, with AMRAPs, the idea isn't to blast through the first four reps and then really, or four rounds and then struggle like shit through the last two. The idea is to move at a pace. Uh, that's sustainable throughout the, the workout. And then over the course of the four weeks, if you're using the same weight, you're going to get more efficient in there uh, with the weight that you're using, therefore increasing the rounds and then therefore increasing the volume that you're doing total over the four weeks. Another way to do that is to stay with the same amount of rounds that you did in week one, but just progressively increase the weight and make that a little bit more challenging. All right, so there's always different ways to teeter and toy with uh, the metric that you're using. Um, just find a metric. Uh, that's gonna work for you, uh, and then work with that. So uh, let's go through the warm up here. The warm up guy is gonna do body weight squats, bird dogs, and then jacks. So your body weight squats, you're getting into your your squat stance, whatever's good, whatever's clever for you. All right, for me, it's just about shoulder distance, slight little external rotation of the hips, hinge at, or slight, yeah, from the hips. Um, hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, I'm getting as low as I can through that squat, drive through the, the feet through the floor, come back up, you're getting 25 there. And then are gonna go bird dogs here, so we're coming down on all six here from the toes and knees and uh, the hands here, what we're gonna do, keeping the core nice and tight and extend uh, left leg, right arm all the way out. We've got a straight line. I'm not all the way up here hyper extending and I've got my heel, you can't see it, but I'm leading with my heel. Bring that back in, work five on the same side or simply alternate. Again, we don't wanna get up into that position, hyper extend the low back, all right? We're keeping a good solid hip square, shoulder square through there. You're gonna get five on each side. You're gonna come up, you're gonna get your jacks, right? If you've got some joint issues, just go with those step jacks. Otherwise, get your jumping jacks in there, 20 of those. Complete that for two rounds. Then you're gonna go into the workout and the AMRAP itself is going to be eight single arm thrusters on the right, eight single arm thrusters on the left. Then you're gonna go into 16 renegade rows and that is one per side. So each arm is gonna count as one. And you're gonna finish out with 15 on the dumbbell curls. Now with that guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a single set of dumbbells, right? And challenge yourself accordingly. Maybe it's the curls, but chances are it's gonna be those dumbbell thrusters uh, which is gonna dictate the weight that you're using, right? I would probably go with 35 or 40 pounds, use that for everything, and then go with a single dumbbell curl because I can't curl 40 pounds, especially 15 reps, all right? So what that's gonna look like is my first uh, move is gonna be a dumbbell thruster on my right side, right? So I'm getting my feet, my body's in my squat stance, hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, get as low as I can, exhale, and drive that weight right up overhead, continuing as I work full finish bicep, or I'm sorry, wrist over the elbow, over the shoulder, all the way down to those heels, and working through those reps before we go to that next exercise, which is gonna be again, eight, hinge at the hips, bend the knees, and then power that weight right up overhead. I'm gonna get eight on that side, before then going into my renegade rows, um, and this can be, from the knees, right, or from the feet. If it's from the knees, we're not in this bird dog position coming here. We've got our head out in front, we've got a good base, and we're driving that elbow back behind us, working the rows. Otherwise, we're coming up from the feet, keeping the hips and shoulders square. Core is extremely tight, right? Glutes, core, hips, everything's tight. Drive through there, work through your reps for your 16, eight on each side. Then you're gonna come up, you're gonna get your dumbbell curls. It's gonna be a twist curl starting with a neutral grip position, curl it up finish with that supinated or palm facing, right? Really flex the bicep, contract the bicep down nice, slow and controlled as you come through there. What's gonna happen is maybe you get to 10 and you get a little tired. One way to work through those is to get that little hinge in the hips, power it up, but still lock out at the top and then let the eccentric work all the way down. The other option is to simply grab a single dumbbell, right? Keeping the arms tight to the body and working through your reps from there. All right, guys, you're gonna complete as many rounds as you can in 25 minutes. Before you finish out with that four minutes at the timer for four minutes and go through this plank burnout, either again, plank is gonna be from the knees, right? If you have to, either high or low plank position. And what we're gonna do again, we don't wanna be back here in this tabletop position. We're bringing the head out in front. We can extend that arm, opposite arm and leg reach uh, for that kind of beginner-ish model. The other is also just sticking the arm out from there. You can do this also from the low plank position as well. And what this looks like from the low plank from the feet is we extend that arm and leg out. Right is one, left is two, and so forth. Before we then go into our body size, this one is going to have to be from the toes as we come up and we work our plank body size, 10 of those. And then we're gonna finish out here either from this low plank position or this high plank position cross body mountain climbers, two, 
three, you're gonna get 10 of those. If you have some rotational issues or some low back issues and you don't wanna do the rotational or the cross body mountain climbers, just do 10, right? So in the description, you'll have everything on what it is, but it is 10 plank, opposite arm reaches, it's gonna be 10 body saws, 10 on the cross body mountain climbers. Cycle through that as many times as you can in the four uh, minutes that you have, guys. That there is your fucking Friday. Have some fun, enjoy yourselves. Peace and love.